Welcome to the Wally Show Aftercast on the stuff we did not get to during the course of the show today. I had a really good like customer service experience yesterday. Um, I've had, had a few of those. I lately. know. I'm on a roll, man. I, I talked to this lady from uh, my internet company, and I haven't been happy with the service. It's been spotty and it's been frustrating. And my wife has been on me forever to change it. And then we just got a letter from them saying, "Oh, it's getting more expensive." So I'm like, "Wait, what?" Mm-mm. And so I'm like, "Okay." I'm, I'm going to call and find out what it takes to cancel and I'll switch over to like AT&T Fiber or something, you know. And so Is it I, more expensive? Uh, AT&T Fiber, it's expensive but it's around the same price of this and other thing. And at least thing. you hope it would work. Right. Better. And I don't yeah. know. So then I so I call this lady and I am explaining to her things. She's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." Cuz I've had other times when they're like, "Oh, okay." And they just like, "Don't care." You're yeah. like, "Okay, great. Well, thanks. I want you to cry a little. At least make an effort uh to say to uh, like keep me." But she was Show really some good. Humanity. I know. So she was like, "Hey, uh, you know, and asked me all these questions and was like, "Okay, well, what do you have and how much is it and stuff?" So I basically I was like, "All right, if you can show me a way to stay, it makes my life easier, you know? And so she's like, well, what if I give you the same speed that you're looking at with the other one for less money than them? And I was like, now you have my attention. It oh, takes leaving oh. for them to I know. give you the best deal. I know. But I mean, it, it, it's so, and I'm like, well, my problem is that it's the internet's been sketchy for me. Mm-hmm. And she's like, which modem do you have? I said, I don't know. It's probably <laughs> five years old with you guys. She's like, all right, well, let's trade the modem in too. And I'll send that to you for free tomorrow. I'm like, Okay, then. Doing good so far. And so, yeah. So, and so then my final question was all right, look, let's say none of this works. Let's say it's still sketchy. It's just a bad area for Mm me, or it's it's slow or whatever. And then, can I cancel? She's like, yeah, you can cancel anytime there's no contracts. I'm like, okay, well, this is great. So, I I solved my, hopefully, solved my problem because my wife has been asking me about it so much. uh, And it's just been so far down my list of priorities. Yeah. But I think that once it's done, you'll be so glad you Mm -hmm. did it. Yeah. Because I put up with it because we stream now. Now, a lot of our mm-hmm. TV and there are times where uh, like at nine o'clock at night, like it'll just start buffering. You're like, oh, no. And, you know, well, just shut it down because it's not going to come back. to Yeah. Listen, there is. um, And I, I'm contemplating getting rid of it because, I mean, there it's gotten to the point where I don't even want to use it anymore. And I think I, has, I spent good earned money on the stupid thing and it doesn't work. It was a brand new Vizio TV. Oh, flat yeah. <laughs> I did research on. What to get? What size? I think you remember this. I bought one, returned it. Yeah. Blah, blah. Anyway, I got this one. I would have. T- if you had just said, "Hey, I'm looking at a Vizio," I would have said, "Don't get it." I hate. <laughs> like, like, I I hate it so much, and Ooh. it's a brand new TV. Yeah. But there, I don't know what it is, but I have to always Kill a rant. up. D- oh, oh it buckle already. up, Buttercup! <laughs> I have to always update that thing. Like yeah. it won't do it on its own. I have to do it, and then it, there's a lag in the button pushing on the mm-hmm. remote control. That drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. Yes. And then all of a sudden, it's like I don't want to do this anymore. I'm just going to buffer in the middle of your show oh, when I'm in the middle of it. Yeah. And I just updated it. I restarted. It, I unplug it. Like I'm doing all the things. And before you potties tell me, well, just return it. It's been too long. Yeah. And I can't return I it. I get it. Oh. Yeah. I hate when the button lag is there and you're like, you hit it once and you know you need to wait. You know you need I, to. Yeah. But the day that you're like, mm, and you hit it like three times and then it, then when it kicks in, it does all three things. I am, I can't even begin to tell you how frustrated I am. With oh, that I get it. Stupid I get it. TV. And Oof. it's brand new. My TVs are older. Like, except for one of the one I have in my living room now, we got uh, recently at Costco. And the reason I got it was it was an odd size. Like, normally you have 55 or uh, 70 inch TVs. I wanted a 70 inch, but it wouldn't fit on my fireplace and look right. Uh, so I got a 58 inch TV I, I, at Costco. I don't know why they did that, had that, but it fit perfectly and still looked good. But my other two TVs are plasma TVs that I got from Target as demo models mm. nine years ago, maybe? Mm-hmm. Eight, nine, yeah, prob- probably probably nine or eight years ago. And they still work great. Like That's uh, what matters. Yeah, when they give up the ghost, I'll have to replace them. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't have done Vizio, man. Like, spend the money and get like Samsung or something because they actually, yeah. their TVs are better. But that's a lesson for you. If yeah. you're looking at getting anything that's Vizio, 
video, yeah. don't do it. What? There's another one like TCL or something like that. There's a bunch. Like you can find really cheap, you know, flat mm-hmm. screen TVs, and it's, it's Betty's saying it's not worth it. I, and my TVs weren't like crazy expensive. Like I got mine at Costco, <laughs> and I still like I don't want to pay a ton of money for them. Like you see these two thousand dollar TVs and things like that. Like I think my my Target ones, I waited and I shopped and I got the best deals. Like I bought the the discount thing, or I, I bought the floor model. I got the five uh, percent red card discount, and I paid under three hundred for each of them. And at the time, they were like one of the better mm-hmm. mar- TVs on the market. So I feel you. I feel you. Um, oh, uh, let's play a little version of this. I saw that going differently in my mind. All right, little mind blown. We don't do this. I know we don't do this normally. Mind but blown. I, yeah, mind blown. Mind blown. Uh, I can't. I don't think I could do this one on the regular show. That's why. Uh, so we're doing it here <laughs> oh, with the bodies. Okay. Uh, do you know what the word <laughs> cul-de-sac means oh, in man. French? Like cul de sac. Everyone wants to live in a cul de sac uh, because you know you don't have any traffic and the kids can go play. I actually live in a cul de sac. It's good for your resale and stuff like that. So do you have any idea in French what it means? Oh, don't Google. No. Dead end. Oh, that's a really good guess. Mm-hmm. Mm. Circle neighbor, circular neighborhood. Okay, good. That's a good guess too. It's not uh, funny enough to be the. Yeah. yeah, it literally translates to butt of the bag. <laughs> I live butt in the, of the butt bag. of the. Bag. I live in the butt of the bag. Is the cul de sac. <laughs> I, I did not see that. I know. See, I didn't either. And so now uh-huh. when you are, uh, you know, hanging out and your friends are like, oh, I, we just bought a new house. We live in a cul-de-sac. And you go, oh, true. you live in the butt of the bag? And they go, wait, what? Mm-hmm. And you go, oh, that's what it means in French. The butt of the bag. Yeah. You're just afraid. Are we, we don't say butt on air. Yeah, I know. Well, well, like, well, well could, to, weird. to focus on it for a long time. Uh, sometimes people can't handle that. Yeah. Um, Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, there you go. That okay. changed my day. Yeah, there you go. That was like okay. So here is a, a warning of things. I, I it's, it's well timed for me. Uh, we're being warned not to mail checks anymore. Do either Who's of you have a doing checkbook? That? I there are still checks that we have. There are still a couple companies that we deal with. Like Marty, my wife, has put all of our stuff online, and she does it all like that, and she manages that. But there are a couple companies that we still deal with that will, don't have online stuff, and you have to. Mail a check. It is lunacy. Well, who, why? Why are? Why can't we do it anymore? Uh, because people are stealing the checks. It's. It's. There's been a resurgence. There used to be a thing where people would steal checks all the time, and there's been now a resurgence in this. My mom got hosed by this. She. Um, put a check in for her insurance. And in Florida, your insurance is expensive. Mm-hmm. So she put it in the mailbox. It got sent. It made it from her mailbox to the insurance place Mm -hmm. it got stolen from their place and then somebody took it to a check cashing place they cashed it because they're probably in on it together because it was so like this person should have never been able to cash that Mm -hmm. check because they're not a representative of state farm uh they don't have the stamp they don't have the signature and but the check cashing place was unscrupulous cashed it and then my mom was out that money so she goes to her bank and goes hey you guys are supposed to cover this it shouldn't have been ever cash and they were fighting her back and forth on it and it's been 30 days 45 days that she's been arguing this with them maybe even more and finally she got it resolved and she had asked me because she had asked me uh, to look into it because I'm on her account Mm -hmm. and so I was going to do it that like would have been yesterday and she sends me this note praise the lord it's all worked out they finally reimbursed me they sent her a note and everything and she's like did you do this and uh, there's part of me that's like you know what i don't want to brag I, you know what? but i hadn't even got to it yet and i'm like no mom you did this you got him to bend you moved the big company way to go chase uh like and so she finally got it but it was it was a headache and a hassle, all because somebody stole a check. Well, how, so just don't do it at all, or is there ways that we can? That's what they're saying. Their their advice is just go online. That's what I told my mom because yeah. my mom stole mails checks, mm-hmm. and I said I said I understand you're scared of the online thing, and I get it when because you, you were too. Yeah, because you can have problems online mm-hmm. and all your money disappears. Right. You know? So I get it, but the check thing is definitely not 
working well either because mm-hmm. there are criminals that steal. Like when your red flag is up on your mailbox, it's an invitation for somebody to come in and go, I know you're sending something. Let's see what it is. We had people in our neighborhood uh, recently go through. There was a gang of people that went through and took everybody's mail out of their mailboxes, opened it up right there and threw it down on the ground. Mm-hmm. They were looking for gift cards, checks, oh my gosh. things like that. Just everybody's mail was strewn around. Yeah, it's crazy. That's horrible. Yeah, it's crazy. But that's what they're doing now. And so they say generally banks will reimburse reimburse you, but because of the amount of the fraud and stuff, it's taking longer and longer to get that done. Mm -hmm. Um, And so basically they say, if you need to mail a check, don't put it in your residential mailbox uh, and raise the flag to notify the postman. They say, take it to the actual post office that hopefully that increases your odds of it not getting stolen. Hmm. Uh, so that's if you've got a check still, that's about the only way uh, that you can protect yourself with it. It's good to know. Yeah, I was glad that she got it worked out. Like she was so stressed about yeah. it, and I hate that for her. Uh, all right, that's going to do it for me. Lady Rock, what do you got? Well, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, I know we had some potties that pointed out that there was rumors, there were rumors that uh, Ryan Seacrest could be the next Wheel of Fortune. Um, Isn't he always attached to? He'll host anything. Yeah, he yeah is to a, anything. That's he true. Is a because hosting. he's great at it. Yeah. Careful. Mm. Anyways, now there's a rumor that Mario Lopez no! could be. That's worse. The host. That's worse. I'm not a big fan of Mario. He did uh, America's Funniest Home Videos. Didn't yes, he, for and a I bit? and I did not like yeah, that. Yeah, he just comes off as very cheesy. Yes. to me, he was in, he was Slater in Saved by the Bell. Yep. Um, but the reason that he could be a potential is because he could bring in the Latino audience, and I guess the Latino audience is one of the big biggest growing audiences for Wheel of Fortune. Sure. And so him being there would bring that appeal to it. It's like, do they see him as Latino? <laughs> like, like oh. he's pretty. He's yeah, I don't, like, I don't even, I don't even know what he is, but yeah. it, he's just not my favorite. No, I've, like, I've tried to watch things with him in them before and just not good. We actually, uh, my radio partner and I, we had been pitching television shows in LA when we lived out there. And one of our shows went to pilot with NBC and uh, it was a show called You Wish. It was like a Wish Grant show, but was unconventional and funny. Mm-hmm. And they said, well, you've got to have a host uh, that we that you know we know and we like. And we're like, OK. And they forced Mario Lopez. They forced him. Forced Mario Lopez. So Mario Lopez is on the trailer. It, it got shot. It got a pilot was shot. Mm-hmm. And Mario Lopez was hosting it and it just killed it. Like it just. Mm. wasn't good like he just killed it Mario killed it or yeah. it just naturally Mario was... killed it oh, and Mario. then it got killed yeah and so like I, yeah, he's not great I would take Jerry O'Connell over <gasps> Mario Lopez and that says a lot that says a whole yeah, lot because remember my bent on Jerry O'Connell for Ooh, uh, the Regis and Kelly show how can we show? forget yeah when they hired Ryan Seacrest you could not stand could him could not but that's that. yeah at least he'd, he'd be He's cheesy and would work for that because wow. of his energy, I think. Um, but Ryan Seacrest, yeah, he'll he'll take any job that hosting says anything. A whole lot. And Ryan doesn't have to now. That's the thing. Ryan could fade away. Ryan should fade away. <laughs> like just into the end of the sunset. Just go be a millionaire and <clears throat> just enjoy your life. Go do things you want to do now, you know, mm-hmm. and just be like, that was a good ride. I'll do do the um, what you call it, the New Year's Eve every year. That's fine. You kind of Dick Clark handed you, a, a, throw you a bone. Go do that. Jealousy, party of one. I know. So <laughs> jealous of Ryan Seacrest. Because he started as a radio guy and he made good and then he left us all in the factory just working down here and we it's didn't so make fear. it out. It's not fair. No one, no one, no one liberated us. <laughs> uh, all right, you got some birthdays? I do. Uh, Matt wants to wish his wonderful wife, Naomi, a happy birthday, saying she's an incredible, uh, she is incredible and makes me a better me uh, from court coordinating our local child evangelism fellowship chapter oh, wow. to being super mom to our two girls to loving me i don't know anyone more awesome nice. that's awesome uh hadassah abigail and charlotte want to wish mom and dad let's see they said mom and dad are both great parents to us and continue to put our wants and needs above their own their 17th 
anniversary oh, nice. is on Saturday, but we wanted to get it in on Friday. That's smart. There Way to go. go. So happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. I like seeing long term relationships work, you know, because mm-hmm. it's not always easy, you know, and, and the breakdown oh. of family is rough. Yeah, when I say it's not always easy, I mean for my wife. Uh, <laughs> amen. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm sure but, she would amen. Yeah, that. but I love seeing like marriages at last. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Ethan, his birthday is on the 24th of so tomorrow. He said, I'm turning 15. Nice. Play electric and acoustic guitar yeah, you do. Uh, enjoy most of Wally's music taste and I love listening yeah. to the Wally show on a daily basis <sighs> nice I'm curious what he doesn't like because there's nothing to not like in my music taste. like he was more like particular <laughs> like he pointed out yeah that it's most of. I know I wonder he what he just said he like. likes your taste because a lot of kids like there are kids it's so funny watching kids wear Nirvana t-shirts you know that and they, they bought know. at Target they and don't they don't know, know anything yeah or they're like oh I just discovered this new band Queen have you have you heard of them did you, you ever hear of them he has think about this though that like 20 or 30 years from now like another generation is going to be wearing like i don't know one Direction shirts. Oh, I know. Like, I was thinking One Direction. Know. You yeah. don't even know what One Direction is. Yeah, <laughs> no one's going to ever say about that because there's no passion. Well, I guess they're. Come on, all when those teenage child, girls. Yeah. yeah, it's just not you the same. You don't know who Taylor no. Swift is. There's no lasting the OG passion. Taylor. <laughs> uh, we have a question and it is from Matt. Um, if you had to be a vegetable, even you, Wally, that's what he said. No candy veggies. Yeah. He said, if you had to be a vegetable, which one would you be? Oh, What's easy. The point? Asparagus. Because no one would eat you? Uh, no, just because I'd laugh every time you tinkled. Because <laughs> it smells. <laughs> How did it go that way? I should have seen it going that way. Um, yeah, easy. Oh, that was funny. You know, I think I'd go with broccoli because I could have big hair. Yes. That is you. Naturally. Yeah, that's not true. Not have to tease it or anything. Chopping broccoli. Gavin, carrot, because you're orange. Oh, let's just go with that. Yeah. <laughs> or Why tomato, because you're red. Yeah. Like, yeah. just Aww. let's go stereotyp- yeah. stereotyping. Yeah. Bless. Go. I know. You know what time it is? <gasps> wake up plans, wake up plans, every time wake up plans. All right. Let's go to Gavin, because Gavin, if you yeah. haven't noticed, is a little under the weather. Yeah. I just, I'm going to work on getting over the cough, get my voice fully back at some point. Um, but we'll see because we're per- supposed to go to the zoo in the morning. Oh, the zoo here in Nashville is good. I with like who? the zoo. Uh, with a couple, they have a little like sub one year old. I can't, f- I forget how old that one is, but we're going to go there because they invited us for free. And I was it's like, supposed oh. to be nights again tomorrow. I, I, I'm excited. I, yeah. I like our zoo. I think it's quality. And then, yeah. uh, there's a, it gives. there's a surf. <laughs> yeah, it does. There's a serve day at church. We're supposed to go. From like 12 to 3 to help with. Nice. Um, So we'll go do that. And then. So much for getting better. Yeah. I know. There's a lot of work tomorrow. But um, I'm hoping that nothing else. I'm hoping nothing else is planned. Which maybe my wife might want to do stuff. But I really don't. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. we're going to see. I get that. Lady Rock. Uh, I'm going to a cookout and hang out with some friends tonight. Which will be lots of fun. Um, tomorrow, uh, I don't think I have any plans. I can't think of anything. I might go and see Wake my mom and dad. Wake up at the crack of noon. <laughs> Maybe. And then go, Maybe. I think I might go see my mom and dad. Oh. Uh, I have some things I need to give them. And then Sunday is church. And then we're back here. Back at it. Back at it. we then, love our jobs. I think you have a week. And then I think we have 4th of July after yep. that. So I, my wife had just uh, shown me a... a <laughs> an app that she has for like a Disney app and it says 39 it's 39 days till my vacation uh oh really to there yeah, yeah. oh wow yeah because I'm we're going on a, um a, like a European cruise thing mm. and it's only 39 days out like that means Dang. August the beginning of August that's my birthday too so it's only 39 days out Ooh. and yeah this year is it's exciting flying by man yeah. and then like then I have November and December in Florida with Haley so that I'll be looking forward to that like mm-hmm. and then it's just another year done and so this has been great um <laughs> get busy living and- yeah or get busy dying I'm you're doing, doing both. both. So I got another year down. Oh, thank God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just one step closer to I know. the sweet release. <laughs> I know. I think, uh, let's see, what am I doing this weekend? Uh, going to see a movie tonight, probably with uh, my wife. 
And then Saturday, I want to go foiling on Saturday. And then Sundays, like you, church, and we hang out with our friends after church and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So nothing, nothing really big. It's like I, I do want to have weekend. Yeah, I do want to have a little bit of a, a calmer weekend with some downtime. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been busy lately and staying busy, so mm-hmm. looking forward to that. Yeah, it's good for you. Yeah, yeah, I need that every once in a while. Good job, yes. everyone. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. That's gonna do it for your aftercast for Friday. And uh, as always, thanks for being a potty. Growing up in poverty has never been easy for children, but with the added challenges of the pandemic, conflict, and natural disasters, families around the world are facing an unprecedented food crisis. Unfortunately, those who are already hungry are now even more desperate. But by sponsoring a child through compassion, you can help provide life-sustaining essentials such as food and clean water. And with your compassionate support, that child can not only survive, but also flourish. You can find out how and choose a child to sponsor when you click on the compassion banner at wayfm.com.